so I had this freezer that the power is on, the run is on, which means it should be working, but it's not freezing up anything. It's been over two days and it's just warm. I'm trying to find out what the problem is. So I'm gonna disconnect it and figure out what the problem is. All right, so looking at this freezer, it's a very simple electrical system. You got a power core coming in, and then you have the red light and the green light, the ones that we see on, right? So they're coming in, which means the thermostat is good. I don't need to uh, mess with the thermostat because I have power coming this way down and then coming power this way down. So this red light and the green light are working, as you saw in the video. Now the only problem is I need to verify whether the motor protector is working or the motor is bad or the standard relay is bad or the capacitor is bad. So I got four things to check. I thought it could have been also the condenser, the, um, condenser coils, but I cannot find the condenser coil, so it, which means it's inside. Um, so I'm going to start working on this. So I already took this cover off and the compressor, the compressor motor right here is warm to the touch, which means it's trying to um, start. Let me uh, flashlight please. So right now, I'm going to take this piece off right here. That's where your power and run lights are and the thermostat. So this part is good. I know that because I saw both lights and if the thermostat was not working, the green light would not have come on. So the next part is looking at the compressor. Sorry, the motor. Let's remove this crap out. And here is the overload. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'll try to get a better vision. All right, so this is the overload. Okay, so I'm going to remove the overload. Shouldn't be that hard to remove a freaking overload, but apparently it is. Uh, hold up, please. Give me some um, way to see it. I want to try to move from here like this. Always with a screwdriver, it works very well. And you just move it out because there's three prongs here. I already removed. Okay, so I removed the. Uh, you filming, right? Mm -hmm. I removed the uh, overload, and I also removed the starting relay. Okay, this is the capacitor right here. Can you film the capacitor? That's the capacitor. This is the starting relay. It has only two prongs. And this is the overload. So I'm gonna check the overload, the relay, the capacitor, most important, the motor. The motor, if you can see, has three leads in here, three little prongs coming out. I don't know if you can see it from there, maybe from this side you can check it. See it, can you see it from this side? You see it, puppy? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna check the capac uh, the motor capac the motor, see if it works. And I should hear beeps. Right now I have it on continuity, right? And it should give me that noise. All right, so I'm gonna do it right now. Give me some light and over there. No, I, I got this one. Just give me um, a good a vision of the, so that people can see. Okay. So I'm gonna do all three of them. I'm gonna start with so that's the bottom one which I'm not touching. So let me go around here. Ah, fat hands. Okay so now I'm going bottom to top. Hold up. Damn man. Okay, so that's bottom to top, bottom left to top, 
bottom right to top, that's good. And then bottom right to bottom left. So that means this motor is good. Again, bottom left to bottom right. I got a good signal. Bottom left to top, that's good. And top to bottom right. That's good. So that means the um, coils inside the motor are good. So the motor is good, I know that for a fact. Now I can check the overload. The overload, it should give me from this side to the end where the prong is less than one ohm or also continuity or a little beeping. So the overload is good. So that's great. Now let's check the capacitor. Capacitor is coming from there, there's a cable, and there's two wires. There's two wires, okay? So I'm gonna just connect one of them, and I'm just going to check. Now the capacitor, I'm gonna put my, my resistance in the highest, and it should come up slowly. But before I do that, I need to discharge this capacitor, just in case. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a screwdriver around it. And now it's discharged. All right, so now I should be able to see this jumping up when I connect this to, to here. See, it's going up, it's higher. It's going, 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 going. Which means the multimeter right now is charging the capacitor and it should go a little to infinity. So that means this capacitor is good. Then my last thing to fix or to check is going to be the relay. There are two holes in here. This relay should read close or it should read like this. I should have this, this beeping noise. And we're gonna check that now. And this relay is bad. Doesn't do the beeping. And if I go into ohms, I should get five, maybe six ohms at the most, maybe 10 tops. I'm not getting anything, which means this relay is bad. So I gotta go to the store and buy a new relay, take this crap off, um, and that's it. So the kind of relay, this is a GP2 tag four relay. Should be about five, 10 bucks. Okay, and then I'll put another one, another video once I hook up the relay and test it and we're done. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.